building a new tree stand deer trap spot here and it's starting with this ash tree now the surrounding area is bog like con conditions with cedars and ashes and balsam fir and right directly behind me there's a lot of blowdowns and the deer have been skirting this there's a couple of good trails that run east and west north and south and then east and west going around the other side I had this tree stand and ladder off in the distance here maybe 75 80 yards and with all the studying that I did this last winter watching lots of YouTube videos and that's basically what it was there are a lot of people with knowledge of deer that I was really wasn't aware of in the past you know to me deer hunting in the past was just finding a good tree that would hold the, the, the deer stand and try to get the deer to come and I had a feeder on the on the land here then I also had a couple of satellite locations at the edge of my of this 40 acres which is my property and what I didn't know was is I was walking through my property to get to those deer stands and of course the deer they they can smell where you've been and if they walk through there at night they know you're there during the day they aren't going to come out there during the day so I have brought all of those stands in and this one here was close to the edge of the property as well I, I brought this in now to this blow down camp is just over in that direction maybe 150 200 yards at the most and I began scouting this in earnest now a couple weeks ago and I found deer beds all throughout this complex right here and mostly in relationship to blowdowns and always on these little tufts that come out of the ground when the, the cedar begin to tilt a little bit they their roots come out of the ground and I found three really nice beds and one just super large one which is just off in this direction maybe 45 50 yards there's another one more behind me on the other side of this blowdown about the same distance and then there's another one out in that direction and that's the one that I want them to be sitting on the most and that's the second one this large one if I can get them to be in either of those two locations then it doesn't matter what type of an east wind I have northeast to southeast northeast will be just an off wind for that bed southeast and actually a south will be just an off wind for that bed so I can go from south all the way to northeast and hunt this location now behind me is the bog um, more cedars than there are ash and I expect all these ash to be dead in 10 years from the emerald ash borer so I'm thinking about that as well there are cedars here that are close to being large enough that I want to sit on so I've got four cedar stands that I can cedar trees that I can switch to when this ash tree dies but um, and then in this direction it's more more black ash and uh, there's a mixture of cedar in it and it's a little higher ground I think that's another reason why the deer have a pretty good trail here just 15 yards from here and there's a little cedar tree that's got low branches I can set up for a little licking branch and uh, I've got I had a trail camera when I had to stand on over here and I had a lot of activity during gun season come through here and I'm gonna be a good probably 50 between 50 and 70 yards and there's a couple of trails there and I'll be able to get a shot at with a gun here. So um, I'm going to get at it. I'm using, I, I purchased this, these mobile tree stand sticks. And I, I, I bought American made and I bought probably the most expensive, one of the most expensive sticks on the market. Because it was made in America, I'm sure, is one of it. The other is, is the owners, they have a big deer ranch in Iowa, and they got to pay for that, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, 
you know, this 40 acres, and I'm getting to the point where I'm not even sure I want to hunt this too much because this is more of a like agriculture than it is deer hunting. But I own it and I plant trees on it and I want to get a return so I'm going to set up a couple of tree stands in the new style of what I've learned. And part of it is to figure out where the buck's bed and set up so that you can get in without disturbing the bedding area. And I think this is it. Come right straight through this. I'm going to build a path through this uh, blowdown. And I'm going to cre create a little area here where the deer really don't want to come over here and walk this path. So it'll be like a box canyon. I'm going to enhance the trail here that's at about 12 yards going east and west. I'm going to make it easier from the travel at. And I'm going to enhance the trail right in front of this. There's actually a little mini miniature trail that comes right in front of here, like about 8 yards. So, and the main trail is about 18 yards. I'm looking at the young bucks and the does using that main trail, and probably that large old buck, he's going to want to skirt right through here. i got to close it off enough that he doesn't come over here. But I, another thing I'm going to do, too, that I'm changing is I had these ladder stands here, and I actually have video, a uh, trail camera video of a buck a big buck looking at that ladder stand. He, I mean, he walked up and he noticed it and he stared at it for a while and he turned around and went back to where he came from. So now I'm going to be using these, these mobile sticks to get up into the stand. I'm going to fix a stand. I got a, I got the old stand right here. I'm going to fix a stand here so I don't have to do that work of putting a stand up when I'm doing this mobile stick deal. And that's the old stand. I got some newer ratchet st straps. I'm going to strap it on with two straps. And right here you can see one of the sticks is already fixed. And boy, they're solid as a rock. They are really nice. And I'm going to put it, you can see where that, there's a little bend there in that ash tree and it bends away from where I'm standing now, from where, where I'm looking up. And that's going to be a good spot to lay back on and relax. I'm going to put the stand right on the knob. And that's only 10 feet up. And I've got a cedar tree here for cover right alongside of it. And I'm going to be facing this way. And I'm going to get my offhand shot over here to these trails here. And then the east-west trail, I have to do a little brushing, but I can get a shot off to the east-west trail from here. And I'm going to enhance this little spot here. There's just a little trail that comes through here. I'm going to enhance this right here open it up. I want to close it in front of this, the, the stand, but I want to open it up right in front and have them walk through that way. So I got some work to do. It's probably like 8.30 in the morning. I want to go fishing today, so who knows how long it's going to take me, but I'm going to keep that until it's done. And hopefully I have enough time to go fishing. I really want to go fishing. That's part of my deal here coming up north is I also want to go fishing. All right, now I'm going to fix this next step up. This is a mobile tree stick. They call them tree sticks. Tree stand sticks would be a good one. But these are very small and light. This is the only the second time I've used this. I used it the first time on a local public land to get up and knock a small branch down. So I don't have to do it. So I'll go back in there and I'll hunt it. So I got to get it so that I come down on it with the strap. Bring this strap up. Some guys are really good at this. They can hang this in like seconds. And I'll get there. Okay. That works. And these are the steps that come out. So now I got steps. One, two, three, four. And there are, I also bought what's called cableators and put it onto 
this lower step and now you have an extra step but the step is made out of a cable I would put those on you and I'll be tell you these things really grip these little V brackets here they actually can turn one way or the other and they go to the they conform to the bends and the twists of the tree so now I'm gonna get up a little higher And I gotta practice this where I can bring these steps up with me as I as I climb the tree. But maybe I won't, I don't know. You can see they, they put their name on there so you know which way is up. But otherwise, what's up is this tab here that you're connecting the strap to. There's a shorter distance on the top than there is on the bottom. And that gives you the leverage. So probably, I got to figure out. I got to figure out how to get them on a belt here. Man. We'll go up with this. If I fall and break my neck, it'll all be recorded. Everybody will know. I haven't figured out how to do the safety rope yet. Those steps are solid as a rock. All right. We are in. I'm on the stand, and here's the deal. Got it all brushed out, except for I can see two little sticks yet. Right down there is a licking branch. Let's see here. Oh, I can't tell. Okay, it's on the other side of that. Right there. Right in there, there's a licking branch there, and I scraped up some ground you can see beyond. There's actually a couple of branches there. I broke a cedar. Well, I'll show you when I get down there. And this is going to be a stand that's going to sit here without a ladder. I'll use these mobile sticks to get up into the stand. So I can get a shot off in that direction. That's about 30 yards. There's two little sticks I got to get out of the way yet. I can get a shot to this one in just a little window, and that's uh, 12 yards. I got a little path right here where I got it blocked off. Maybe 8 yards. The licking branch is maybe 12 yards. I can get a shot off in that direction for quite a long way. I can get a shot off in that direction. 18, 20 yards. I've got some... Uh, hinge cuts back there to kind of force them to come in this direction So let's go down and show you the setup on the ground